Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a showdown between the old and the new, the classic and the cutting edge, the budget friendly and the wallet busting. In this corner, we have a 60 year old fishing reel that has been given a new lease on life thanks to some loving restoration, clocking in at $10, the Garcia Mitchell 402. And in the other corner, we have a brand new top of the line fishing reel that promises to deliver the ultimate angling experience, clocking in at over $1,000, the Shimano Stella. Get ready for the ultimate test as we put these two reels against each other and find out which one comes out on top. Okay, we finally made it to our spot. We are in Florida right now. We brought our e-bikes. We got a bunch of fishing gear. We're gonna do some fishing today. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some dinner for ourselves. Really excited. It's just like a middle of the week and um, there's nothing like just taking a midweek adventure, um, especially at this beach. This is my favorite beach in all of Florida. It's just so remote and they're so flat and just, it's lovely. What do you like about this beach area? I like that there's no one here Wednesday in the middle of the day. This is your sign to play hooky. Yeah, I love playing <laughs> hooky. We should be in the office editing and, and doing like 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 office work, but we decided let's just get out there. It's too nice of a day. Let's go out and play, right? Okay, so we're gonna try this spot right here because the structure looks pretty nice. It's an incoming tide, so I'm gonna need to park my bike further back there. But first, I'm just gonna set up my rods and whatnot here. All right, come here. I'm gonna bait up. So first off. We have two different kinds of rods here, okay? Two different kinds of reels. Old technology, old school, versus new school. Now, one of them cost me $10. The other one cost me $1,000. So the difference between both of these rods is, this is the most modern, most expensive reel that you could buy right now. This is an old school reel that, first of all, has been existing for a really long time. It's still functional right now, and the best part is you can fix it up completely yourself. This reel is really easy to just take apart, fix, re-grease, and continue fixing yourself. This reel, never take this apart. Do not take this apart unless you're an expert at taking things apart. I usually send this in every single time to get repairs or to get ma routine maintenance. But for routine maintenance, I continually repair and fix and maintain this reel. Today we're gonna be testing the main difference is between both of them. Old school technology versus new school technology. Let's see which works best. Okay, so for this old school reel, I'm gonna set this one up first. Both of these, I'm gonna be using the same rig, which is our catch-all rig. This catch-all rig is a high-low rig. And now this is the basic one. It doesn't have the floats on it. My premium catch-all rigs have floats on them and they're hand-painted, they look gorgeous. But the basic ones are really stealthy. They have two hooks. 20 pound line, a thick swivel right here so I can put a heavy sinker and a heavy duty two-way swivel at the top so I don't get any break-offs. And I sell it on my website. If you want to try it for yourself, this is, what, this is the rig I use almost every time I go fishing. So with this reel, I'm going to attach a, looking at the surf, I think a four ounce sinker is appropriate. So I'll take one out of my bait box here. Now this sinker, you just snap in like this, and it's set to go. This reel itself is really unique because when you reel it in, you can see the spool goes up and down, you see? And when you open the bale, you can't just close it. You have to reel it to close it. And sometimes that makes this happen. So you have to make sure you have a tight line. Reel it in, but look at how it goes up and down so that it spools it evenly. I think that's really cool. Before I talk too much about each reel, I wanna just get my line out there because I wanna wait for a fish to bite. The more, I spend, the more time I spend talking to you, the less time I have my lines in the water. And when, when you're fishing, it's important to have your lines soak in the water because the more time you have in the water, the more chances you have to catch fish. Let's get it out there. I'm gonna use fresh bait and some salted baits here that I have too. So now this is the exact same thing right here, except this is salt preserved. So I'm gonna use half of each because if this gets bitten off, which is really soft, and it will get bitten off, 
then this will still be on there because this is a lot tougher. So I'll do half and half. And I might need your help to reel some fish in, Erin. I'll help you. I will help you. Thank you. Okay, now this reel is noticeably much smoother than the other reel. And it doesn't make any noise. It's also a lot lighter. It's, this one weighs a lot. This one hardly weighs anything at all. Okay, so I've got my $10 vintage reel and my $1,000 modern new age reel. Let's see which one works better. It's my opinion, it doesn't matter the reel. It's about the fisherman and the fisherman's skill and the fisherman's luck. My third reel is my mid-range reel. This one is about $500, $600. It's called a Twin Power. This is also my lightest reel I have. It's super light and it's super powerful. Okay, so this last one, I'm using my premium Surecatch rig. It has these hand-painted floats on them. These floats look like sand flea eggs, and hopefully it'll attract more fish. Now, I've got this rod out just so I can see if I can catch even more fish. It's always nice to have multiple rods out. So we're gonna be testing two modern reels versus one vintage reel. and is shaking his head. And you don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to pull the hook out of his mouth. Oh, it's jumping. Whoa! Oh, Two fish at a time. Look at that. Woo. Wow, those, that's a whiting and a bluefish. And this is why I call it the catch-all rig because you can catch all kinds of fish. Woo. Two fish at one time. It actually broke the top hook off, so I'm gonna to have to retie that with the new pre tied rig. But look at this two fish at one time. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Both of these are keepers, and they're gonna go into my cooler. Yeah! Nice. I noticed a lot of you guys who are watching are not subscribed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we post these videos every Thursday. it in because I saw it got bitten earlier but all the bait might be gone so yep all the bait's gone look all the bait's gone we got a bite Yeah! Yeah! That's another whiting right there. Whitings are really good bait, and they're also really good to eat. And this size is perfect to fry up whole. But I've got a lot of whiting at home, so I'm gonna let this one go. It's a little bit too small. I'd rather keep some bigger ones. Stella. Ooh. 
That's great bait, that's great eating, that's great fun. There we go. Yes. On this, this reel probably hasn't caught a fish in 40 years. Congratulations. The Mitchell, the Garcia Mitchell 402 saltwater reel. There we go. So the Mitchell Garcia reel is an iconic reel. It came out in the 60s, between the 60s and the 80s, and they were the first to really pioneer one of the best spinning reels out on the market. And during the time, it was very innovative. Everybody was using conventional reels. Everybody was using fly reels. This made it easy for everyone to use. Using a spinning reel is way, way more simple to use than a conventional reel. A conventional reel is very hard to cast. A lot of bird's nests, a lot of snags. A lot of people had trouble using that. So Mitchell Garcia created what's called a spinning reel. And they, I don't know if they were the first ones to ever make it, but their Mitchell Garcia was the first ones to become really popular among the masses of fishermen. This allowed just anybody to go fishing and catch their own fish. It's really important in the history of fishing that a spinning reel exists because not everybody knows how to cast a, a conventional reel. It's really difficult to learn. It's a very steep learning curve. Whereas these spinning reels were really easy for anyone to just pick up, cast out, and start catching fish. So props to Garcia Mitchell. And I think they're still around in the world today. So if you have an opportunity to restore and fix up your own Mitchell Garcia, I recommend you do the same thing because this has been working for many, many years for a lot of people. But now the Stella, the Stella is a different story. This is like the Ferrari of the spinning reel world because it's so smooth. It's so beautiful, it's so amazingly engineered that this is like a very, very like high-end reel that you just feel really fancy using. Not to mention it has a $1,000 price tag. This thing is a real workhorse. It's not just really expensive. It's really, really powerful, really smooth, and you'll have never used anything as smooth as this. It's just like butter when you reel it in. And when you reel in big fish, it just reels it in with ease. It's almost not fair. Okay, so let's talk about drag systems on both of these fishing reels. Now, what's a drag system? What does it do? The drag setting on any fishing reel has the same purpose, to regulate the tension or the force that's required to take line off of the spool. Tightening the drag makes it harder for fish to fight and run and take line off of the spool, while having a looser drag makes it easier. So the drag system allows you to fight a fish without snapping your line and without breaking off. This is super important. And in my opinion, the Shimano Stella has the best drag system ever. It's very smooth and I've never had any problems with it locking up. If it ever locks up, that means that it's completely tense and a big fish could just snap your line. Now with the Mitchell Garcia, the drag is not very smooth in my opinion. And it's just very clunky. Some places it, it pulls line out easily, other places it gets harder to pull. So when a big fish is going on a run, you have a higher chance of losing the fish. Both kinds of reels are gonna get you to the same place. They'll both catch you fish, but one of them will get you there in style. And that is the Stella, my friends. The Stella is a beautiful piece of engineered spinning reel, and I love it. I've got three of them, and I've also got three Mitchell Garcia's, and I'm not sponsored by either. I just am a fan of both of them, old school and new school. So you tell me yourself, try them both. Let me know what you think.
It's definitely not as smooth as the, the high-end reels. But it's working. But it's working like a workhorse. Oh, it got off. No. Last second got off. Lame. fish but this fried is really delicious and honestly these moderately sized fish taste the best to me so I'm gonna keep this one with my bluefish and my other whiting but the Mitchell Garcia handled it just fine no problem and this thing is like 60 years old it's ridiculously old On a vintage, like 60 year old reel, doesn't get better than that. That power knob, I was able to really get a good grip using that power knob. I really like the reel. And we got two big bluefish. We're ready to go home and cook up some fish now. Woo! We did it. Good job, Aaron. Found it. There you go, girl. Yeah, baby. And I think this is a good time to call it a day. We've got a bag full of fish, and I think the test is over. It doesn't matter what kind of gear you have, how expensive your gear is. That's something that really doesn't matter. If you can figure out where the hole is, what, what bait to use, what rigs to use, that makes a hundred times more difference than what gear you're using. $1,000 reel versus $10 reel, I caught the same amount of fish using both. So it does not really matter. I just happen to really like to use a fancy reel like this. I also really like to use an old-fashioned reel like this. I've got three of each. So it's up to you. I want you to try it out yourself. Get yourself a Mitchell Garcia right here. This is a 402 saltwater. Fix it up yourself. Get out there and start catching fish. Now the baits that worked really well for us were the fresh shrimp and the salted shrimp. Both of these baits worked really well. I caught a lot of whiting, a lot of bluefish, and it was a fantastic day of fishing. I got a whole bag full of fish and all I had to do was find the correct hole and use the right rigs. Now, if you want to get on the same kind of fish, if you want to have the same adventure as us, I recommend you get the Fishing Fanatics Bundle. This has all of the baits and all of the rigs. It comes with 10 rigs, and all you got to do is get out to the beach, tie up your rigs, put on the bait, and start catching fish. Now I'm going to take the fish home, cook it up, and uh, have a great dinner.